Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. This is Heather and Christo with Fast Track to Fascism, and tonight's episode is titled NWO Crackpot Shenanigans. <laughs> <laughs> That's about the only way we can think to describe it, because it's fucking crackpot. <laughs> this is, it's, it's wackadoo, as my mother would say. It's wackadoo. <laughs> that much time. That much time left before martial law is inflicted on us, and we're crazy, and people are dying by marching in the streets and holding signs up. So, so what were you proposed? This is our motivational speech. This is our motivational speech. This is to anyone out that watches this, and we're actually going to start emailing people that we watch and yes. seeing if we can do something that's later. Um, so we're going to start our first topic is give me liberty or give me death. And we've, we've mentioned this before, but whenever you say that, you have to do a couple things. You have to accept the fact that you're going to die sometime anyways. <laughs> and number two, um, would you rather uh, do it now and get it over with? As I read one thing on the internet that said that this guy's quote. Yeah. Do it now and get it over with because it's, it's inevitable. It's, it's yeah. postponing the inevitable. And will it be worse if we don't go ahead and do it now before there's not marches on the street of riot cops? Yeah. Um, so, we have Earth given riots. Um, it's stated in the Declaration of in Independence. They're God-given, yeah. Earth-given. They're not government-given rights. They're not government-given rights, and the government has no right to take them away. Um, and they are endowed by their creator. And that the government um, that is not run by the people, which we're going to break down a couple really great Thomas Jefferson quotes about that, um, no longer has the right to be the government, because if they are not the government for the people that they are governed, governing, um, and they're not listening to them, then they have no right to govern us. Um, that's the whole Krista said earlier that you know they're not working for you, they're not working for you anymore. Yeah. Sad thing for me, but um, no man is any better than any other man on the planet. Woman, whatever. Um, what you are is a life, and what you have is your property that you get by mutual exchange and your voice and. And your past, present, and future is another link we're going to give you guys probably right about here. Yeah. And uh, it's a very, very funny little link if you sat through it and watched it. But yeah. it basically breaks it down and tells you in the simplest of ways that right. you have rights regardless of your government. Regardless. Yes. And when somebody tries to take those rights, they are in, in act taking your livelihood, your life, everything your you produce with your time, life. with your time and energy, which equates to money for some people, but some people it's not. Um, and they have no right to do that. I'm naked before I get in the shower. I'm naked before President I get Bush in the is naked before he gets in the shower. My kids are naked before they get in the bath. It's your most vulnerable time. You have no cell phones, you have no, I mean, you might have fancy equipment, you're still fucking naked human, all right? And I guarantee you that if you have more physical strength than me, I might have more mental strength than you. And, and that's how it works. People have their gifts, and then they don't have their gifts. And no man is, is than ever any other born man. with a silver screw literally in his mouth. Ever. Ever. Unless they make a robot. Um, <laughs> another thing is, is, good God, people, we're better than this. Yeah. Uh, we're humans. Um, Unfortunately, if you look at Freud's last works, he was talking about how humans weren't better than this, and you had to have this um, control control government and this parent-like government. So you have the id, the, the superego, and the, yeah. the, the well, the the id, the ego, and the superego. And yeah, the id's the little kid, the ego's you know the trying to restrain the little kid inside you, and the superego is your government. <laughs> you don't even get to be your own superego anymore, guys. They tell you what to do. Um, oh, if you have a belly button. When you're born here, you have the right to life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. And we're also going to give you the, the breakdown of the Declaration of Independence quote. We're going to break that down. We hold these truths to be self-evident. Which means that they are obvious. obvious. That all men are created equal, which means you're no better than me and I'm no better than you. That they are endowed by their creator with certain unalienable rights. The creator, not the government. The creator, which could yes. be the earth or it could be God. It could be whatever the hell you want to call it. And it's unalienable rights, so that means you can't be, um... Taken away? Yeah. These yeah. rights cannot be taken away from you. Among these are... Life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. Well, of course, well, everybody has the right to live, everybody has the right to be free, and everybody has, has the, the right, right to be happy, or at least try to be happy. Which you can't do if you're enslaved by debt. Alright. Um, 
more right, the government. Yeah. That to secure these rights, governments are instituted among men. To secure your inalienable rights. To secure governments these rights. are formed. To secure your rights. They're there to make sure nobody takes your rights, not to take them from you. Yes. Is what I see in that. Deriving their just powers from the consent of the governed. That's a big one because nowadays, how many people are consenting to uh, the to what the masses plan? are saying to yeah. them, and they're still passing laws that weren't, which we didn't consent to. Ever. Um, that whenever any form of government becomes destructive to, of these ends, meaning the ends of the people that govern it, like they're no longer our politicians anymore, they're the lobbyist politicians. Um, it is the right of the people to alter or abolish it, which means it's our right to change our government and to right now. And freaking put some of these crazy criminals in prison. It's I mean, crackpot criminals. Treason in prison. back when this was written was somebody getting shot on the lawn, I'm pretty sure. And now we're just talking about getting them out of office. I mean, yeah. <sighs> and to institute a new government, laying its foundation on such principles and organizing its powers on such form as to them shall seem most likely to affect their safety and happiness, not their. I'm gonna control you and tell tell you how I think you should be safe and happy. That's mm -hmm. that's not what all he's talking about. So that's our breakdown of the Declaration of Independence, Thomas Jefferson, guys. We love him. Thomas Jefferson is my person. So pretty much, this is our rallying of the American people. Whoever watches this and whoever we can get together. Um, Certainly, a lot of people are working up their ears. That there are people that know what's going on. There are many of us. There are there are millions of us. We call it the silenced majority on democracy now. Silenced majority. It's, yeah, silenced. Because <laughs> um, I mean, we have all these people agreeing, but we don't see any results. We don't see that the Congress listens to the mass. They say oh, no. Definitely, they throw it in. Mm -hmm. You know, one thousand to five, saying no, don't vote that bill <laughs> on it, and they're, you know, hmm, that's a week later. And so pretty much we're at the point where we have to act, and we, we think we have to act now. 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 So now. what we are going to do is um, we are going to have to have, we're going to write all of the people that we've seen, try to get a hold of them, like Naomi Wolf, um, Alex Jones. Um, come on, help me. Um, let's see, ACLU, yeah. uh, Mark Sino, eyewitness videos. Bob Barr, Ron Paul, um, Bob Barr, Nader, Ron Paul, um, Kucinich, uh, everybody Kucinich. that you know that knows, man, it's got millions of people behind them, even if they are silenced. Um, uh, Bill Maher. Right. Bill um, Maher. If they can put the word out and we can start something almost like V for Vendetta, like a day where people go out and actually we, we, we set it up maybe a month Remember. in advance. I mean, I really hope, we don't want to have to put it a month in advance, but we kind of need to because of the fact that we need people to get the word out about it and have mass numbers show up. We have to have something the equivalent of the civil rights movement of the 60s, and it has to be bigger, and it has to be now, because we were talking about civil rights going to African Americans and probably some women. I think women got their credit in 1974. Yeah. Um, but if we don't do this now, they're taking our civil rights back. They're taking them away. They're taking our, our right to vote liberties. is meaningless. Yes. It's, it's it's scary. And so it's um, very overwhelming for my poor family. It has to be actions that produce <laughs> results. Well. And I don't have money. Chris doesn't have, have money. money. We live on a day-to-day -day basis here in America. What savings? You know what I mean? Like savings. Mm, What's that? You know? Right. Um. So I can't donate to the ACLU. I can't. I and then they're like, to. get involved. But I can't I would do love it to with donate money. To the Bob Barr campaign. You're oh, not yeah, going to be able to. You're not going to be able to change change the world and change America and especially the world through donations guys you're gonna have to start something you're gonna, you're gonna have, have to start to I don't know if it's a monthly thing a weekly thing where everybody starts to gather and then we start making a point we got to do something and um, um, I I vote remember remember the 5th of December yeah ah let's make it different you know it's amazing they actually made a movie out of that comic book oh god that's a great movie too V for Vendetta. and it's very very accurate it's to the very comic chilling. book it's very chilling yeah it's very because it was it's written in chilling. the 80s and yeah. it's very much so true in london today there are cameras on every single average person that lives in london is on over 300 cameras a day wow that's just going to work and doing their normal shit okay so our closing thomas jefferson quote is what country can preserve its liberties if its rulers are not warned from time to time that its people preserve the spirit of resistance Thank you, Thomas Jefferson. We love you. We love you guys.